Insecurity has characterized Karamoja sub-region due to illegal firearms in the hands of the locals. This has led to many people being injured or succumbed to death due to gunshots and use of poisonous bows and arrows. Many of the injured from the nine districts of Karamoja and neighboring districts of Teso and Acholi seek treatment from St. Chizito Matanyi Hospital in Napak District. According to the medical superintendent of Matanyi Hospital, Dr. John Bosco Nsoboga, the facility is overwhelmed by the increasing number of gunshots victims. has led to more gunshot cases being admitted in, uh, in the hospital. Since the beginning of the year, I'm talking of January, up to now we have admitted 94 gunshot, gunshot cases. And just in the last month of uh, May, we admitted just in one month, 24 cases of uh, gunshot. Dr. Nsoboga explains that more expenses are not shifted to the gunshot victims, adding that although patients are required to pay 15% of the required bill, most of them live without clearing it. Uh, an increased expenditure of uh, the hospital on these other extra gunshot cases we are receiving. The patient is not treated only once. Some people are spending two months in the hospital. They require to be taken over and over uh, to theater. The equipment, the orthopedic equipment that uh, implants, sometimes they need implants to be used. And all of these are costing a lot. Last financial year, bills mounting to 270 million were unpaid. So among those who can't pay are uh, the gunshot cases. Some pay, but then also several of them can't, uh, can't pay because sometimes these are women, eh, these are children. Just about two weeks ago, we had a family which was attacked. Uh, a man, uh, four people were shot in that family. The husband, the wife, and then the, the two kids. The two kids uh, survived. We treated them on children's ward, and then they went home. This paid only, <laughs> they had to go to theater. They were here for two weeks, but then they paid only 5,000 each of them. The hospital also lost eight external fixators last month, each costing three million shillings due to people not returning for checkup. We have patients who have, they may get injuries on the limbs. And then there are some metals we sometimes use, we call them external fixators. We use to, to manage these fractures. The patient in the hospital maybe for about two weeks, three weeks, and then we tell them to go with these external fixators at home. But then many of them don't return. With, uh, for they don't return, and each of the each external fixator, the one you lose, it costs about three million shillings. So you find that hmm, uh, instead of bring back that external fixator and probably use it for another patient, for some people they can't return. So the, the hospital is also challenged by limited number of beds and staff. We don't have enough beds for all these patients. So at the end, we try to improvise. Either most some of the patients, are, they end up sleeping on the floor. So we have also what we call floor cases. And because now you can't refer patients to other places. So we talk to the patients, and those who are a little bit stable, they may have to, to stay on the floor. And then those who are weak, they utilize the beds. It is from this backdrop that the management is looking for 600 million for the smooth running of the facility. What we have calculated, we think that just for management of gunshots, if we can get support of around every year 600 million, this can be a year of help in managing, uh, and managing the gunshots. In addition, 600 is in addition to what we are already receiving as PHC. PHC uh, conditional grant, what you're already getting from, from uh, government. A gunshot patient takes between two to three weeks to cure depending on the wound, and on average, two million is required to treat a gunshot victim. St. Chizito Hospital Matanyi is under Catholic Diocese of Moroto, found in 1970 by missionaries. 51% of its finances is got from donors and some from government of Uganda, so that Kai Morin Yiga, UBC News.